physical hurt. Oh, he's crazy. Bloodshot Bill. Sean Young. Over there on the steel, Chris Casello. Johnny Saffer. Baked Bean and the Bunker Hillbillies. Becky Lynn Blanca. You know that fella, Big Cindy. This is Del Villarreal from Go Cat Go, The Rockabilly Show, welcoming you to the Bay State Barn Dance. Please welcome your master of ceremonies, Mr. Ken Motti. Thank you, friends. It's an honor and a privilege to be here at the Bay State Barn Dance. Give yourselves a big round of applause just for leaving the house. We got plenty of singing and plenty of picking and we got a great barn dance, barn dance orchestra right here for you. And we've got so many stars, there's almost barely room enough on this stage to fit them all. Well, leading it off, First man out of the gate, he comes to us from the great city of Detroit. Would you please say hello to author and musician, the old haunted heart himself, Mr. Michael Hurt. Hey! Oh, good to see you, sir. Tell us, you just wrote a new book. What's it about? And who was the young man who's unfortunately no longer with us that you wrote the book with? The book is about Fortune Records and uh, the essence of Motor City music, all the tributaries and all the tangents and side stories of the neighborhoods and the churches and the nightclubs and where it happened and who they were. Everything you ever wanted to know about Detroit by my, my good friend, the late great Mr. Billy Miller of Norton Records, <laughs> Kicks Magazine fame, and myself, Mind Over Matter, the Myths and Mysteries of Detroit's Fortune Records. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the music of Michael Hurt. We're gonna do a little tune out of Texas right now by one of my heroes, Mr. Hub Sutter. A song entitled, I Don't Want My Baby Back. Baby, bye. Hey, hey, I'm a 
sitting in a tavern with all my friends, laughing and dancing and drinking gin. Now you know how it feels to live in misery. Go ahead, old woman, and let me be, cause I got another gal I know she's true. That's more than I could ever say about you. I don't want you. I don't want my baby back. brothers and sisters and thank you to this lovely band back here behind me I don't know if y'all have ever heard of a gentleman named Bill Carter but he did a great record that our good friend Mr. Jason Goodman turned me on to in New Orleans it blew my mind from the moment I first heard it we're gonna do it for you right now but I'd like to say that I had the honor of writing about Bill telling his whole life story in country music he's 92 years old I uh, did a double CD for Bear Family that just came out entitled Ramblin' Fever. He started on Four Star, he moved to Republic, he went to D, and then he was all the way up to MGM. But anyway, this is a little Ozark number. We're gonna send it out to him. It's called Cool Tomcat. <laughs> Mr. Michael Hurt. Thank you, my brother. Man, oh man. Michael Hurt, everybody. Well, it's time for our another special guest here on the program. He's a guitar picker of some fame and fortune. You know him from his time playing with uh, High Noon. Would you please say hello, Six Strings of Death himself, Mr. Sean Mitchell. It does our hearts good to have all our friends around us, and Sean is definitely one of them. That's music to my ears, brother. Come on up here and say hello to the fine people. You, uh, you got a kind of a special song for us here, and I believe there's a very special arrangement and get a little bit of a story behind this song, isn't there? Absolutely, it's a thumb-picked version of the Hank Snow and, uh, well, Elvis's rendition of A Fool Such As I. It was the arrangement was written uh, made by a friend named Larry Odom down in North Carolina. Yeah. All right. All right. All righty then, ladies and gentlemen. Here he comes, Sean Mincher.
Thank you very kindly, ladies. <laughs> uh, here's one called Blueberry Boogie. Thank you very much. Mr. Sean Mincher. And at no time during the song did his fingers leave his hand. Wow, the hits just keep on coming, friends. We got a young fella coming up here right now. He comes to us from the area of Washington, D.C. and Maryland. Uh, he is the lead singer of a great rockabilly rock and roll act called the Rockasonics. <laughs> He's a tall drink of water and well-dressed to boot. Here he comes, friends. This is Willie Barry. Well, howdy there, Kim. I'd like to say something real quick, if you don't mind. If you go right ahead, please. I just want to say, following Sean Mencher and Michael Hurt, in the words of the legendary Dewey Cox, how am I going to follow that? <laughs> go ahead. All right, it's a pleasure to have you here on the show, son. Now, I have to ask you this question. Pretty much everybody has some special story about how they discovered rockabilly music or vintage music or Americana music. Like some people, oh, well, Grandpa was a fiddler. Or some, oh, I used to go to the dances at the VFW Hall with my parents and hear all these old songs. How did you come to this music? Well, you know, the beginning's kind of a blur, Ken. I, I won't bore you with a lot of the details. But I came across this thing called the, let's see, it's the World Wide uh, Internet, I think. Really? So, uh, yeah, let's just say YouTube is a beautiful thing, huh? Bless my heart and call me buttered. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Willie Barry. All right. We got any George Jones fans out there, by the way? All right. You're the kind of crowd I want. 
so-and-so if I ever did see one. We got a fella coming up here next, got a bit of a reputation and a long career and a multiple career. He's what you call a hyphenate. He's an author, he's a musician, he's a junk dealer. 
Ladies and gentlemen, he's one of the best dressed men in show business. He's been entertaining us for years, and we hope he continues for many years. Please say hello to your best friend, Deke Dickerson. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ken. Oh, it's a pleasure to have somebody that, uh, those are the nicest looking pajamas I have ever seen, brother. You really know how to tie one on there. And I have just one quick question for you, if I may. Out of your long and varied career, can you name two people that you still look at yourself and go, I can't believe I got to work with this person? Bobby <laughs> Absolutely, Ken. Uh, I would say Rosalie Mathis and Link Ray. Yeah. Still can't believe I was on stage playing with those people. Brother, you done hit the nail on the head twice. Say hello to your best friend, Deke Dickerson. Thank you so much. So, uh, I'd like to do a real creepy country music song for you now. If, do you like that sort of thing? This is about a guy that's so creepy that he actually climbs inside a jukebox to stalk his ex. Let's try it. Here we go. You, you boys ready? Yeah. And lady? One, two, three. Suppose that I should come to life when they play this song. I could be in a lot of places at once and say what's a going on. If you believe it's strong enough, you'll find it will come true. And I'll jump right out of this tube box and get a heart full of you. Now let me take a look around, see if I can find the one who dropped that nickel in to hear this song of mine. Well, I bet that is you that's a walking away If it's the last thing I do And I'll jump right out of this jukebox And get on with one of you Just believe that it's true And see what imagination can do I'm gonna jump right out of this jukebox And get on with one of you When they play this song I could be in a lot of places at once And see if she's cheating on me If you walk in with someone good I'm gonna make him jealous too And I'll jump right out of this jukebox And get a heart full of you Well, lucky me She just walked in alone and looking blue Make me get to where I am And maybe she loves me too if you believe it's strong enough, then your heart won't be so blue. And I'll jump right out of this jukebox and get a heart full of you. Just believe that it's true and see what imagination can do. I'm going to jump right out of this jukebox and get a heart full of you. Yeah, I'm going to jump right out of this jukebox and get a heart full of you. Thank you guys very much. This next song, I do collect things, and this next song is a song that I found at a garage sale for a dime. It's a little thing called Get Off the Stool. Now, do you like hillbilly music? Now, I know it's easy to just get you to say, yeah, woo, but do you really like hillbilly music? Because this next one, it tests the boundaries of even those who say they like hillbilly music. Let's do this. One, two, three. I walked into a cafe, I was feeling kind of low. Could have made most anything, I didn't have no dough. Then a pretty little waitress stared at me, and then I heard her say, Get off the stool, you silly fool, you can't sit there all day. And I said, Why? She said, Cause this ain't no place to take a rest, and I ain't Santa Claus. So I went to a tavern, I didn't have a cent. Bartender just looked 
looked at me and said, Why do you badly bend? Now we don't care for moochers, and we don't furnish shade. Get off the stool, you silly fool. Come back when you get paid. And I said, Why? He said, Cause this ain't no place to take a rest, and I ain't Santa Claus. Just the other night, she asked me for a little kiss. It filled my heart with fright. She puckered up her painted lips. I said, leave me alone. She screamed, you folk get off that stool. You might as well go home. And I said, why? She said, cause this ain't no place to take a rest. And I ain't Santa Claus. take a moment to tell you about a refreshing treat that's sweet to eat and that's Pappy's finest frozen ice lollies they're pure they're wholesome delicious fruit flavors are available now in lime strawberry and new grape it's a fruit drink on a stick frozen to perfection Pappy's finest frozen ice lollies are sure to be a hit with kids and adults alike there's a frozen sucker born every minute. <laughs> Pappy's finest frozen ice lollies. Goodness gracious, they're good. They sure are. They sure are, friends. Thank you, Bean. Hey, we got a young fella coming to this stage right now. He's another long, lean, lanky fella. He comes to us from the great state of Kentucky all the way here to the Bay State Barn Dance. Would you please welcome Mr. Kyle Eldridge? Kyle, I gotta, I gotta step out here and say you display to a skill that I have only seen in one other performer and that was Mr. Hank Thompson. And that's the ability to wear both a pompadour and a really nice cowboy hat at the same time. And it looks like you got that big award-winning grin just like Hank Thompson as well. So you might go places in this here business. Tell folks about that big old boat anchor you got around your neck. That's quite some piece of hardware. Oh, well, thank you. This is a, an old vintage carving double neck. Got a mandolin neck on the top and a guitar neck on the bottom. Ladies and gentlemen, from Kentucky, you know him from his time with Swell Tune Records. He's part of the Swell Tune Galaxy of Stars. Kyle Eldridge. Thank you, friends. Thank you. Well, I've got a 45 Allen Smell tune. Came out earlier this year. I'm going to do the A side and the B side for you. Here's the A side. This is my alien conspiracy theory country western song. A little thing called the Spooky Moon. Way up high, there's 
a bright neon light that tells you in the harvest and guides the ocean tide. Is there a man in the moon? UFOs I can't tell. As the woman said, the surface rings like a bell. It's a spooky moon. And every watch at night, a star does saloon. Behind the scenes of cameras that were kept out of view Rolls of secret footage that were taken that day And confiscated back on Earth from out there in space It's a spooky moon And every watch at night The stardust saloon instrumental for you, a little thing called Starstruck.
thank you very, very much. Appreciate you all. Thank you. That fellow right there, he's Kyle Eldridge. We got a fella coming up here that, uh, well, he is the face of Pappy's Finest Products. Would you please welcome to the stage, Dave Stuckey. It's a pleasure to see you there, young fella. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. Now, I hope I'm not letting the cat out of the bag there, because I know you have this well-defined image as the world's most erudite hillbilly. <laughs> That's a $2 word. I got that out of Reader's Digest. <laughs> you are an erudite hillbilly, but I don't think I'm letting the cat out of the bag if I tell people that you actually went to college. I did. I got learned up. You got, you, you learned books and numbers and stuff. Now you went to, to college in your day with some people that went on to have some pretty good musical careers. Who would those folks well, be? Well, that's right. It's, uh, you know, Lawrence, Kansas was uh, this nice little kind of bohemian sort of college town uh, where I was happy enough to befriend and play with a local there named Chuck Mead. From a little orchestra called BR5. That orchestra right there. A very good friend of mine was a bass player extraordinaire, uh, Lisa Wordman. From the band Get Smart. Get Smart, that's Absolutely. right. I produced one of the records. There you go. So, it was a good place. That, there, was, there was a mess of talent out there. It was a mess, all right. It was a mess, all right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we could go on for days, and we will. Right here, right now, please say hello to Dave Stuckey. Well, I saw your face in the moon, honey. You threw a smile at me. Well, you pretended you were happy. But in your eyes, I could see that you were thinking thoughts of bygone days you and I. Once knew. Now I could see your smile a fading in the gloom when I saw your face in the moon, honey. Yes, I saw your face in the moon. friends and neighbors. Well, so when this thing was being put together, it's all, of course, Beck's brainchild. And, uh, but she said, hey, you want to do this thing? Everybody's going to get up and sing a couple of songs. You want to do it? I said, sure, I'd love to. And she said, you want me to pick the tunes? Yes. I love it when she picks the tunes for me to sing at the Jamboree or on this deal. And so she picked this next one, which is by the great Gordon Terry. A little tune called Hook, Line, and Sinker. Well, I used to be as happy as a single guy could be Till I met the gal who made a fool out of me She gave me a smile and a covered look For I knew what I was doing when I was on her hook Followed her bait, hook, line, sinker, and all Well, we went out the 
dancing and I took her to a show I took her to the places that a couple should go But when I took her home I didn't know right then That I had myself a headache that would never end I swallowed her face, hooked my cigarette off Come in, Katie! Yeah. See the parson and the trouble did start He said for better or worse till death do you part When I said yes something in me seemed to say Brother you regret it till your dying day Father babe, hook, line, sinker and all Well now the moral of the story is don't ever get hooked Find a certain kind of gal or you'll be cooked The wind is pulled so pretty eyes that way Lord you regret it for your dying day Followed her faith, hook, line, sinker, and all. Thank you kindly, friends. Thank you so much. Not only is he the face of Pappy's Finest, but he is Pappy's Finest, Dave Stuckey. Let's hear him. Say, we are kind of fortunate because we got a young fella that's going to come up here and do some music for you. He just managed to make his way out of the corn maze. He's here with us right here, right now. Here's hoping he didn't step in anything on his way across the barnyard. Please say hello to Baked Bean. Patio. you <laughs> I believe you do have some songs for us here today, don't you? I do. I wrote some songs just special for you folks. I, Let me get out my, my, my notes so I can... Uh... You can read? <laughs> well, I'll be... I believe you got some fellas maybe going to help you out on this song. I do. I brought my own band. I brought the Brunker Hillbillies with me right now. Here they are, everybody. Here they are now. That's the Hillbillies, ladies and gentlemen. That's the old clan that they on guitar right there. Hey, hey. This is Zachary on the, on the other guitar right there. And this here's our good friend, Dirty Punk. We're going to play a song right now. It's, a, it's kind of a serious song. It's a true story, and I think it's a, it's a, it's a story that needs to be told. I bet it was in tune when you bought it. It was. <laughs> I swear to God, it was in tune when I was on the bottom of them stairs over there. <laughs> now, Mother gave me sound advice when I was just a lad to try to save the family name from the shame of dear old dad. Her wisdom was supreme and her logic beyond doubt. So open up your hymnals and we'll sing what it's about. Don't you fart in church, don't you fart in church. Congregation will be mad while the deacons start the search. Oh, that dirty, rotten sinner that we may cut a fart in church. Plan. 
But on Saturday nights, you better stay away from them cans of that magical fruit pinner or refried style. Or on Sunday morning, they'll smell you coming from a mile. Don't you fart in church. Don't you fart in church. Congregation will be mad while the deacons start to search for that dirty air out the center when they cut a fart in church. I was sitting next to sweet Molly Sue. I was, I really was. And I'll admit it, yes, I had a few. We had a few. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I guess I let one slip. Because she grabbed her nose, it's true. She said, Bean, that sure changes the definition of a pew. <laughs> Don't you fart in church, don't you fart in church Everybody will be mad while the people start to search For that dirty rotten chair when you cut a fart in church Man. We're gonna get signed Oh, well, there ain't no chickens in the barn. There ain't no fun out on the farm. I've been quite a chicken plucker since the day I was born, but there ain't no chickens on the farm. Grandpa was still a plucking at the age of 83, so everybody's wondering what's the matter with me. But I sit at home by my telephone, but there ain't no chickens in the barn. Well, there ain't no chickens in the barn. Ain't no fun out on the farm. I've been quite a chicken plugger since the day I was born, but there ain't no chickens in the barn. Well, I went to Sunday meeting just to see what I could see, and I went, but things are much, much for me. Too old to too young to fry, but there ain't no chickens in the sky. Well, there ain't no chickens in the barn. Ain't no fun out on the farm. I've been quite a chicken plucker since the day I was born. If there ain't no chickens in the barn. Hey, Heather Ray Johnson, play one for us, will you? Grab me a dime and I head to the theater and try to make some time. But when the lights come up, I'll let you in on the scoop. Ain't no chickens in the coop. Well, there ain't no chickens in the barn. Ain't no fun out on the farm. And I've been quite a chicken plucker since the day I was born. But there ain't no chickens in the barn. No, there ain't no chickens in the barn. One more. And there ain't no chickens in the barn. Thank you, friends and neighbors. Thank you, Mr. Marty. Baked bean in the Bunker Hill Billies. Thank y'all so much. Ain't yeah. they something? Well, you know, uh, you know, we we're, we're, we all make our living playing music now. Uh, it's it's what we do full time. All of us are working at Guitar Center. Say, I got a question for you, Bean. Yes, sir. Once the show is over here, once the big barn dance is done today, you got any plans? Yeah, actually, we're going to go fishing what we're going to do, Ken. We're going to go fishing. You got worms? Yeah, but we're going to go anyway. <laughs> that was my contribution to the script right there, ladies and gentlemen. Well, friends, we hope you've enjoyed the first half of the Bay State Barn Dance. We're going to take a brief 10-minute intermission where you can step out to the lobby. Enjoy yourself. We'll see you back here right at this stage with more fun and excitement, fun and frolic, right here at the Bay State Barn Dance.
Welcome to the show that never ends. This is the Bay State Barn Dance. We want to take this opportunity right now to introduce you to the fine, outstanding members of the Bay State Barn Dance Barn Band. Over there, six strings and he uses them all. Please say hello to Mr. Ashley Kingman on guitar. On the fiddle, the best looking member of the organization, Miss Heather Ray Johnson. Back there on the wood pile, aiming at the circles, keeping the beat that can't be beat. On the drums, Bobby Trimble. He's banging them horse teeth, playing the piano like there's no tomorrow. Mr. Carl, Sonny Leyland. And right up front here, right up front here on the ironing board, the man making all the noises and all the faces, this is Chris Casillo. Bull fiddle on the doghouse on the upright base. Please say hello to Johnny Shasha. They are the Bay State Barn Dance Band. Well, friends, how about that? Y'all stopped at the same time, nobody got hurt. Well, they got bruised a little bit. Again, my name is Ken Motti. It's my pleasure and honor and privilege to be here. Mother taught me to be polite. It's a pleasure to have you all here. And right now, we're kicking off the second half of the show with a young man who comes to us from the great white north, all the way from Canada. Please say hello to Bloodshot Bill. Bill, it's a pleasure to have you here with us. It's good to see you out in the daytime. <laughs> it's good to be here. I have to say, you had, a, you had an honor and a privilege a while back. You had one of your songs featured in an Australian car commercial. I did. It, it was an honor and a privilege. <laughs> Do you have any idea how that happened? Uh... They went to pick the best song they could find, and and then and then and then they couldn't find it, and they picked mine. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please say hello? He's going to do a couple of numbers for you. He is a winner of an Ameripolitan Music Award. This is Bloodshot Bill. Say goodbye. Time to wrap it up and say bye bye. Would it be so long? Yeah, when I'm gone, your heart will fly for me. Yeah, my heart drives me. Taking a chance, I gotta try. Time to wrap it up and say bye bye. Would it
so much, we will slow it down now. Way down. When you decide to have a dog, just I feel. You know, friends, when you need a good hot meal in a jiffy, why not try Pappy's Finest Fresh Can Spaghetti and Meatballs? The big meal in the little can. With 18 meatballs in every can, and, and Pappy counts them himself, and a rich, hearty sauce, it's sure to please the entire family. Even the most finicky folks will enjoy Pappy's Finest Spaghetti and Meatballs. Goodness gracious, that's good. I'm hungry just to thinking about it. Well, right now we have a musician for you, a very hot, hot, hot guitar player. I'll tell you what, friends. He comes to us all the way from the great state of Rhode Island, which is right over there. Would you please welcome to the Bay State Barn Dance, Johnny Saffer. Yay! <laughs> Set him up, Joe. I like a man that knows how to get dressed when it's time to go to work, so thank you. No worries, just don't make the Blues Brothers thing. Sha -sha. Right. No, 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 no. On the program. Now, I have a question for you, and I might be serious or I might be joking. I can't tell which. Considering that you come from the great state of Rhode Island, which is physically the smallest state in the Union, how do you feel as a musician compared to all these fellas that are, oh, I'm from Texas, the big old state of Texas. Does that present a problem for you? No. <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear. He's going to prove it to you right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Suffer. Time, no time of mine, but it don't bother me. I let it slide, and I'm never mad because I don't mind. Look into the sky and watch the clouds pass by, pass by. Got no time, let's walk.
cares for what's going on I'm just plucking my guitar and singing songs And I'll have my cake and I'll eat it too That's the only reason why I buy a cake It's food, it's meant to eat and it's good And you should too, you should too gentlemen, Chris Casello. Uh, this is another quick one, <laughs> real quick one. Uh, this was called Johnny's Boogie. Yeah, just. What's that? Yeah, no, it's after me. It's Johnny's Boogie this time. America's bass player, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Johnny Seffert, everybody! Got a young man coming up to the stage. You've seen him all across the United States and all around the globe with a little trio he had called High Noon. Recently transplanted from the city of Austin, Texas to the Massachusetts area. Would you please welcome, oh, he's handsome, Sean Young! Hey! And look, he brought enough guitars for the whole class. Well, Sean, it's a pleasure to have you here. Climb up there and settle yourself Thank in. Thank you all so much. Like a hot, warm bath. <laughs> Thank you. Ken Motti, everybody. Give him a hand. Huh? What... what a fantastic host. Finally got an opportunity to wear my Elvis shoes. <laughs> all right. Or my pimp shoes. You can call them whatever you like. You know... You look really familiar. You look like somebody we saw earlier in the show. Well, you I know, I, I, I got here a little late. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, fair was, enough. There's some guy with a bird on his head blocking oh, traffic okay. out there. 
If I can ask you a question, this might be a bit of a tough question, but I'm going to ask. Now, as many folks know, they know you from your time with High Noon. They, of course, know you from the many, many years you spent working with the great departed legend, Mr. Ronnie Dawson. 25 words or less, what is maybe your fondest memory of the Blonde Bomber? And by that, of course, we're talking about Ronnie Dawson. Yes, sir. I'll tell you what it is. You know, I know a lot of people watch that, that Conan O'Brien clip. Yes. Where, yeah, where I do the little Frankenstein dance thing. <laughs> you know, Ronnie, with my job in that band, I was playing rhythm guitar, but you know, we'd get loud enough sometimes, you couldn't even hear the acoustics, so. <laughs> a lot of my job in that band was just to fire the crowd up, keep things kind of going, and, and uh, so I'd been doing that in Monkey Beat City as we were doing that tour. But we're on Conan O'Brien, I'm like, I'm sitting in the green room and I'm thinking, well, I'm not gonna do that tonight because I'm, you know, I want the spotlight to be on Ronnie. And I'm not gonna, you know, jump out there and act, act a fool. I want Ronnie to do it. And Ronnie would, if you guys remember, you know, he'd, he'd always warm up with that old that country song. And tell me, baby, why you been gone so long? You've been gone so long. So he's backstage warming up. And he walks up and he looks at me and goes, you gonna shake your ass tonight, boy? <laughs> and I said, Oh no, Ron! I'm not going to do that, man. I'm not going to change. I'm not going to, you know, do do that tonight. I'm calling Brian. But he goes, "Well, don't change it now." <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sean Young. Hey, thanks a lot, everybody. I'm going to do you a classic Texas tune right now, originally done by Jimmy Heap and the Melly Masters out of Taylor, Texas. It was made popular by the great Ray Price, and we're going to do it for you right now. Please release me. Let me go. Please. Please release me, let me go. I don't love you anymore. To live together is a sin. Release me and let me love again. This is Heather Ray Johnson. song I wrote back in 19... <laughs> it's a little country shuffle. It's a Texas country shuffle, everybody. I love country shuffle music that comes from the state of Texas. It's just a, there's a feel, and uh, yeah, you can do some country music. It's, it's probably going to be about drinking, and this one is. It's called One More Drink. 
Then we'll turn out the light, right? One more drink. And turn out the light. Hope her memory will leave me alone tonight. I know she'll come up calling me for night turns day. Talking at my mind store, how can I turn her? alone I said Here's the task at hand for me at the wine As I stare at the glass and fill it to the top I pray please Lord give me the strength to stop But then one more drink and turn out the light Hope her memory will leave me alone tonight But I know she'll come up calling me for a night turns day Knocking at my mind's door, how can I turn her away? Here's Chris Casella and turn a picture burns as I see her now through my mind's eye she was the very best thing this poor boy has ever found oh brother why and why have you let me down but then one more the drink and turn out the light hope her memory will leave me alone tonight and you feel it i know she'll come up calling before night turns day knocking at my mind store how can i turn her Thank you all so much. God bless you all for coming out to the Bay State Barn Dance, everybody. Thank you all. Mr. Sean Young. That just got me right here. Right now, we would like to shine the big old spotlight, the big old raccoon spotlight on one of our performers who is part of our barn dance band. And he's the young man that's been playing the steel guitar. He's going to cut loose with a couple of instrumentals for you. Right there, with, right there with all of his guitars, would you please say hello to Chris Casello. <laughs>
Friends, we'd like to take a moment and play you this special word from our sponsor. Ask for Pappy's Finest, celebrated sponsor of the Bay State Barn Dance. Just ask Pappy's Finest, goodness gracious, Pappy's Finest. Just like Mom and Dad would make out on the farm. Ask Pappy's Finest, goodness gracious, Pappy's Finest. Recommended by your friends here at the barn. Pappy's Finest, goodness gracious, that's good. Where cream corn is concerned, you deserve the finest. Pappy's finest. Goodness gracious, that's good. We've got a uh, performer coming up to the stage. You've heard that song, I've Been Everywhere, Man. Well, she went a lot of different places before she made it here. Starting out in uh, New Orleans, then by way of California, and now she's with us here in uh, Massachusetts at the Bay State Barn Dance. This is Becky Lynn Blanca. We are so honored to have you with us here. I just have to ask you a question, if I may, if I might. How is it possible in all of your travels, if you remember, how is it that you came to fall under the spell, the friendship and the spell, the mystic power that is Dave Pappy Stuckey? How did that happen? That's a great question, Ken. Well, thank you. Well, I know that it's more suitable to our theme or whatever to talk about how Pappy's a Kansas boy, but I've always known him to be a California boy myself. Yeah. So we both played jazz out west, and that's where I grew up, and so we played together for many years. And... Well, we're honored to have you here with us on this stage. You go ahead and do what you do best. Becky Lynn Blanca. <laughs>
gentlemen, <laughs> Becky Lynn Blanca, everybody.
Well, we're down to our last guest star, and we figured, well, let's go out with a bang. Let's bring up uh, someone who's a friend to everybody. And we've appreciated his music for so long. We're so grateful to have him here. He's got that voice that's like warm honey on a piece of toast. Yum. Big Sandy. I appreciate that very much, but hearing you say those words made me feel a little weird. I can understand that. Now, we've known each other for a good long time. Is it okay if I call you big? Well, maybe not. You I can, because you know. Well, thank <laughs> Yes, you may. I should correct myself. In all seriousness, in absolute honest-to-God seriousness, from the bottom of my heart, I think I'm speaking for a lot of folks here in this crowd, and I know I'm speaking for myself and my good, my good wife, Mary. We've, we've, loved, we've loved your music, we've loved your shows for so many years. We wish you nothing but happiness and success for as long as you care to do this. Ladies and gentlemen, your friend and ours, Big Sandy. Thank you so much. And doing a fantastic job all night. It's not easy to do it all. Ken Mahdi, doing a fantastic job. Oh, you have a really big fan back there. All right, as I look across the, the, uh, the bandstand here, I, I recognize, uh, well, I recognize all of them. <laughs> But there, there, are, there are a couple of former fly rights. There's three former fly rights. And maybe a future fly right or two. I don't know. <laughs> One never knows. All right. This is a song off of an album we, we put out. Um, what was it? 1994? Yeah. Five? Six. No, no. No, 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 no. I think it was 94. It was 94. Uh, Jumping from six to six is the name of the record here. And I thought, I was racking my brain trying to think of what song to do, what old time country, I said, I'm gonna do some of my old songs here. So, and I really haven't uh, had a chance to sing uh, these two songs I'm gonna do since back then in the 90s. So hope you enjoy my rendition of my songs. Here we go. Yeah, help me out here, boys. Here we go. This was called Someone Like You. I saw you walking down the street Thought that you looked kind of neat Said there goes a pretty girl You got me in a world I don't know why You let me love you Don't know why You let me fall I want somebody To tell my troubles to And I Need somebody Someone a lot like you hey. oh, Mr. Kingman All together, friends, you got a steel
Uh, now this is a song uh, I started messing around with bef before the band fully came together. Finally had a chance to record it when we started making Jumping from Six to Six. Let's do another song off that same album. This one's called Honey Stick Around a While. words in show business. Big Sandy. Robert, stay right up here on stage. Let's bring back all of the stars from tonight's Bay State Barn Dance. Come on up out of the barn, kids. Including the best darn can of cream corn you've ever seen in your life. Really glad that you joined us. Step right up and grab a plate full of products from Pappy's finest. Celebrated sponsor of the Old Bay State. Gather around all you pilgrims, come on now. Gather pilgrims. There's no time to hesitate. Bring all your friends and neighbors. Austin, Texas, that's Heather Ray Johnson, everybody. Right now. Carl, Sonny, Leyland. Huh? Looking quite 
handsome in that shirt, I should say. Yeah. My friend in here is Chris Casello, ladies and gentlemen. Johnny Shasha and Bobby Trimble. Swell that you joined to see what we did. With <laughs> we hope your time was really great and that you all will be back next year at the barn dance in the old Bay State. Round of applause for all the stars, the Bay State Barn Dance. The Bay State Barn Dance Barn Band. We thank you all for being true supporters of country music wherever you may go. And one thing I forgot to say, Vicksburgs, Vicksburgs, Vicksburgs. Friends, my name is Ken Motti. Thank you all for the Bay State Bar Dance. A round of applause for the one person who makes it all happen, Beck Rustek. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, leaving our stage, Mr. Michael Hurt. <laughs> oh, there. Oh, Mr. Sean Young. Deke Dickerson. Big Sandy. Bloodshot Bill. Dave Pappy Stuckey. <laughs> Becky Lynn Blanca. <laughs> Sean Mincher. <laughs> Mr. Kyle Eldridge. <laughs> Johnny Seffert, everybody. can of corn, corn you've ever seen in your life. The Bay State Barn Dance Band. Ladies and gentlemen, Cheap Trick says good night. Thank you all so much. Thank you for coming and seeing this. We really appreciate it, everybody. I don't know about you guys, but I've been wanting to do this since I was a little kid. <laughs> Thanks a lot for being a part of it, everybody.
Give this band a hand. God bless you, Beck. Let's all head on up to Massachusetts. Yeah, let's go. We're all gonna sing and play. Woo, sure are. Old New England will be swinging at the barn dance in the old Bay State. Gather around all you pilgrims. There's no time to hesitate. Bring all your friends and neighbors. There's a barn dance in the old Bay State. We're really glad that you joined us. We sure are. So step right up and grab a plate. Full of products from Pappy's Finest. Celebrated sponsor of the old Bay State. So gather around all you pilgrims. There's no time to hesitate. Bar dance in the old Bay State. Yes, sir, Pilgrim's brand new for 2022. It's the Bay State Barn Dance, the newest feature of the New England Shakeup. Come on down and see your favorite country and western singing stars live on stage in a sit-down environment reminiscent of the great old radio shows like the Louisiana Hayride and the Big D Jamboree. Sponsored by Happy's Finest Products, it's going to be a whale of a time. Here's my friend Big Bean to tell you more. Yeah, friends, it's old Blake Bean to tell you. Come on down to the Bay State Barn Dance. We're going to have a good time picking and singing for you. And the MC is my old friend Ken Motti. Y'all come now. So here. gather around all you pilgrims. There's no time to hesitate. Bring all your friends and neighbors. There's a barn dance in the old Bay State. We think it's swell that you joined us. Sure do. We hope your time was really great. That you'll be back again next year. Back to year. the barn dance in the old Bay State.